We have Rose Sally Holmes in full bloom. One of my favorite plants, as you've probably heard, is apricot buds. We have a lavender rhododendron. It's uh, finishing its bloom. I'm going to show you a little trick on deadheading rhododendrons. If you grab them right at the base of the bud, if you can see that, and twist and pull, you just deadheaded the rhododendron. It will push side buds. You can see them real small right there. And that will be next year's growth. It will divide and do what you see right here. See these two shoots? That's what this will do um, now that I've removed that. It would do it anyway, but uh, this way you don't have a messy deadhead there and the whole plant ends up looking a lot cleaner. Here we have uh, Hebe co-ed and uh, it's just starting to open up. It's a nice evergreen shrubs, three to four feet tall and wide. Really striking lavender white flowers. They come out lavender and then the base of the flower starts to turn white. Really nice symmetrical foliage. Here's a uh, jasmine polyanthem. Um, pink jasmine we call it, but um, it's looking a little rough now. It finished its bloom a few weeks ago, but uh, after that you can see here, here's the spent flower heads. Wow, there's even a seed on there. And um, if you want to see my video on uh, cleaning up or um, pruning uh, this plant, then look that up and that'll show you how to clean it up and encourage the new growth to pop. Here's a pot that I did today. See if I can remember the name of this new plant. Uh, in the back there is a type of Hypericum and it's um, something red. It has amazing little clusters of yellow flowers. See those? Which turn into a red berry like you see right here. And it only gets about two feet by two feet. So I'm trying it out. I love the look of it and the different colors in there. I'm a big Hypericum fan. Then next to that is kangaroo paw. This variety is called bush ranger. It's a dwarf reddish orange color. And then next to that is Japanese forest grass. Now, as a designer, I kind of think of the Japanese forest grass as being a plant that doesn't like full sun, but this thing sits out in full sun on my patio and gets hit pretty hard in the middle of summer by temperatures in the 90s and the 100s. So um, it can take more sun as long as it's got enough water to handle that. So just keep that in mind. And then you get a really bright yellow color like you're seeing here. Here's another pot. This has a couple of things in it. The um, Down to the right there you see a type of Echeveria called Afterglow. It has beautiful lavender pink um, leaves with uh, strong pink ridges on it, kind of magenta. Next to that is um, Kangaroo Paw and that's Pink Beauty. It's a little dwarf pink variety. And then the bigger plant there is um, Budlia blue chip. And I use that because that's going to bloom all summer for me into fall. Um, I put that in last year and I'm getting my first flower starting to open up here. And um, these are nice. They stay compact around three feet tall. And I can kind of manage that inside there. Um, this is a type of salvia that eludes me, but it's a nice stays evergreen and it blooms from April all the way until frost. Back here we have geranium roseanne just starting to bloom. This will bloom all the way until October or till it gets really cold. One of the most intense blue lavender colors you're gonna see. Love this plant and I love the pairing there. See those two colors together? That's rose coral flower carpet there. Now I've let that one get pretty tall. That's about 42 inches tall and wide, almost five feet wide. I think there's two plants in there, but just to give you a sense of it, these can get quite large if you let them. This is a butylon. It's an orange variety. This plant blooms all year. That's one of the reasons that hummingbird is nesting there is because this is a food source all year long. 
Love these. These are Chinese lantern. Many colors, pink, white, yellow, red, orange, apricots. Lots of choices with this plant. If you're lucky enough to be able to use it, you should. This is Budlia Buzz Violet. And um, I'm just discovering this plant. It uh, is a dwarf. It only gets about three feet high and wide. And uh, look at these flowers. So it's just a dwarf form, which is always nice with Budlias because David I get so darn big and unruly. And um, I'm actually test growing this. I want to see if it reblooms or how long the bloom cycle is compared to blue chip, which reblooms, and I already know that. Um, also, here's a really nice uh, shrub rose. I want to say this is called Disneyland. It's been years since I put it in, but aren't those colors nice? This multicolored floribunda. This is Hypericum mazaranum, and the yellow flowers there on the right, gold flower, is the common name. And next to that is Hydrangea quercifolia, oak leaf hydrangea. Let's take a look at those up close. So the oak leaf hydrangea is just starting to bloom and open. Look at that flower. And then there's the yellow flower for Hypericum mazaranum. It's in the unique foliage. A lot of people see this foliage in the photos I show and think it looks fern-like. See that interesting pattern? It's uh, symmetrically whirled the foliage around the stem. Here's some Alstromeria in my side yard. I just have this over in this unattractive space as a uh, cut flower. Well, the lighting's making it kind of tough. It's late afternoon, but we have Spirea Anthony Waterer in the back there. That's uh, the pink flower. And we have Budlia Buzz Lavender in the front. I just put this two together and I think they really look nice together. So this is Rose White Meadling Ground Cover and it's fading. Um, I'm going to do a deadheading on this in the next couple of days. But it had its big show and uh, that's over. So now the sooner I deadhead it, the sooner it will give me its next wave of bloom. This is um, Polygala Dalmatiana. This is called... Um, uh, Oh, sweet pea shrub, I'm sorry. Um, these bloom all year here. Um, there's a lot of new growth. See how bright green all that is? And um, here's a close-up of the flower. It's got that sweet pea look to it. So isn't that beautiful foliage? This is Geranium Mavis Simpson. Beautiful clear pink flowers. This will bloom all the way until September, October, typically, unless it gets super, super hot. And it will spread out and fill in that space. This is Geranium Russell Pritchard in the foreground. That's a nice fuchsia flower. Looks a lot like or identical to Mavis Simpson, but a much stronger flower color. And I've paired it here with Roseanne. I love that combo of the blue and the fuchsia together.